Okay, so now it's time to build Android Oreo. Um, what I'd like to build this time around is Cypher OS or AOSCP. Of course, we can look at how to establish our build environment with AOSP on the uh, Android Open Source Projects website. We looked at how to do this in Lollipop, Marshmallow, and Nugget. So I don't really feel like we need to go over this too much. Um, remember, we will need to set up OpenJDK 8 on our uh, machine before we build. Uh, of course, the instructions are right here on AOSP website, and also we uh, we did that in Nugget, and you can look at some alternate ways that we did that. So if we Google AOSCP and we look at their GitHub, and we're really looking for that platform manifest, which of course popped right up here. Uh, again, if you need some more help with manifests, please be sure to check out my previous videos on Lollipop, Marshmallow, and Nugget, which explain that in more detail. So if we click on that manifest, you notice here that unlike all the other ROMs we built before, there's actually no instructions, uh, no README that tells you what to do. And I, I really am glad that we got to pick this one to go over this because of course we, we know what we had to do before and we want to do the same thing now. Um, if you go to my repositories, uh, you'll see the group that I worked with uh, called Suicide Squirrel. And uh, we worked together at one point to bring up the LTG4 on Cypher OS in Oreo. And that's what we're going to be building um, for this video series here. Most of this, again, should be fairly straightforward because it's all the same things that we did in our previous build. Now I'm using the same machine that I built Nugget with, and so I already have OpenJDK 8 set up. I already have that repo sync set up. I already have um, all of our build tools installed. And here you can see as we go through the history uh, where I installed all those build tools, and we built that AOKP Nugget. So Again, if you need help with setting up your machine, please be sure to go back and look at previous videos, um, in this case, particularly for Nugget, but uh, also Marshmallow and Lollipop, where we discussed that in greater detail. So if we're going to make a directory for Oreo, uh, AOSCP, or CypherOS. I think it stands for Android Open Source Cypher Project. But if we run our, our GF-H for human readable, see if we have enough space. We're only using a third of our hard drive for our Nugget build. So we have plenty of space for, uh, for building Oreo here as well. Note that we are only using a third of our hard drive because I did make clean in our Oreo, or excuse me, in our Nugget build to free up extra space. Um, if we if we did not run make clean, we would not have enough uh, space to uh, to do this. So a cool command is history. We'll go back over the history of your um, Linux command. And if you use this pipe grep init, we can see the last time you used init. So really, what we need to do is we're going to repo init dash u. But instead of doing this AOKP, we're going to copy the um, URL for the Cypher OS platform manifest repository. And then we can put the uh, dash B and put in our uh, branch that we want. Again, not to belabor the point, if you need more help with, uh, with how this works, please see my previous videos. I don't want to bore you with the same information over and over and over again. Um, and we've already talked about it three times, so we're just kind of going to walk through the build of Oreo this time around. What you'll notice, though, is that uh, this build for Oreo is actually going to be really straightforward because it's the exact same thing that we did for our previous build. And hopefully that's, that's a comfort to you that really Android building doesn't change even though a newer build of Android comes out. Now, a lot of things did change in Oreo. 
So here we've initialized our repository and we're going to start our repo sync. Um, a lot of things did change in Oreo uh, that happened at the device level, but not anything really changed for how you build when you when you run the build process. So we're going to let this synchronize and then we're going to get uh, get back to it.